Merry Christmas. So there is a left-wing talking point that's been going around based on this study that says, like, what, 85-something-plus percent of domestic terrorism in the United States is right-wing terror. That is factually inaccurate. Over 90% of domestic terrorism in the United States is left-wing terror. You'll notice that the study doesn't consider any of the arsons or violent protests or mass beatings or attacks or stabbings or unprovoked assaults with bricks and blunt weapons that BLM has done for five years. None of those are in the study. Uh, the BLM shooter in Dallas who killed like a dozen people, including several cops, not considered. Uh, nothing Antifa's done, none of the firebombings, not the firebombing of the, the ICE administration building in Texas, nothing. None of that's in the study. That study considers uh, certain school shooters to be right-wing terror. It considers that was, there's one or two incel shootings. I wasn't aware that inceldom was a political ideology or that these senseless mass shootings by depressed and deranged individuals I believe all of which killed more men than women. Um, I don't understand how that's a politically motivated attack. Um, and, and it doesn't, I'm sure it considers several uh, hoax hate crimes. Like I'm pretty sure in the study, like somebody who smeared a shit swats to kind of bath house wall, which is graffiti, not terrorism. That's in there. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it considers certain online threats to be terrorism. Now, that's actually hilariously closer to what the actual definition of terror is than a lot of the bullshit things considered in the study, like the accidental vehicular manslaughter of Heather Heyer by James Field, who was fleeing people actually terrorizing him, Antifa pointing uh, semi-automatic rifles into the window of his car, and he flees a protest, um, which was... Basically, another one of the dozens and dozens and actually probably by this point, hundreds of violent terrorist attacks. Anytime Antifa forms a mob and starts attacking civilians and police, that's political terrorism. The definition of terror is attacking civilian targets in order to inflict fear and political change. Literally terror. And yet it considers so many things that by definition are not terror just because... Uh, like some depressed asshole shoots up a school. That's not terrorism. A spree shooter is not necessarily terrorism. El Elliot Rogers stabbing several people and shooting two more. I forget how many he killed, all of which were men. How is that incel? If, if he didn't target women for the express purpose of terrorizing women, then how is that terrorism? That's not how terror works. Now, you could argue that the the statistics are different if you say a right wing person who commits a violent felony or something like that, whether or not there's political motivation involved. But terror terrorism's always political, and if you look at Antifa and BLM for the past five years, over ninety percent, probably over ninety seven percent of all domestic terror is left wing terror which is no surprise because the defining characteristic of all left-wing ideologies, besides envy and greed, is violent sadism. So it's no wonder that for the purposes of expanding their political, political ideology that the left-wing resorts to terror constantly. There's only one way that you can say that uh, global terror, not domestic terror, because this particular group has only been slightly, if at all, successful in committing terrorism on American soil in the past decade. But um, if you consider Islamic extremism to be right-wing terror because it's religious conservatism in nature, or religiously conservative in nature, I believe is the right way to say that, um, then 99.99% of global terrorism over the last century is right-wing terror. Although that's probably not true because there's an alarming amount of communist terror, which is left-wing terror over the past century. So those, I'm just kind of ballparking those figures. But even if you consider everything that communists have done to commit terror over the last century, it's probably still 99% Islam <laughs> responsible for all the bombings and whatnot and the mass murder and the, the destruction of, of property. Yeah, all that Islam. So, but is Islam... Uh, Evangelo Khan or American conservative in nature? No, it's not. And you know for a fact that every time a Democrat or leftist lies, 
because what do they do 100% of the time about every subject, no matter what, without fail and without exception, lie when they lie and say, oh, even, dude, even if they said 10% of, of American domestic terrorism is right-wing in nature, I'd laugh them at them in the face. It's probably 95 to 97% leftist. Prove me wrong. And I'll say this last as a little bonus addendum. Studies are very, very often bullshit. You can't take a tiny ass sample size or a deliberately dishonest sampling that excludes information that should be included to be something you can extrapolate across the wider public. On this channel several years ago, I remember detailing, there was a study that CNN and everybody's posting on there saying like 78% of men want to rape you. And that's because some feminist undergraduate student at Michigan State University asked like 112 male uh, classmates of hers or, or fellow university students. Um, if a woman says no and you continue to pressure or cajole her um, and eventually she changes her mind and says, yes, is that okay? And if you can change a woman's mind to consent to sex, that's not rape. But according to this feminist, not taking the first no and, you know, immediately ceasing any discussion of sex past that means you're a rapist de facto. And that was just a significant portion of 120 people in a single location means 80% of men worldwide want to rape you. That's the way studies are all the time. Another famous Mark Twain quote, I quote this guy all the time, is there are lies, damn lies, and statistics. Statistics can be bullshitted to say anything you want but they're usually fallacious and downright deceptive on purpose. This is one of those cases. Excluding the overwhelming amount of leftist terrorist, uh, terrorism while laughably expanding the definition of terror and expanding the definition of right wing to include whatever the fuck you want in order to try to get it up to 80% right wing terror is bullshit. Fuck off. Thanks for watching.